what's going on guys welcome back uh today is a somewhat planned video as you guys saw in the last video we are doing a japanese snack taste test so today i went out and got this here there is 15 to 18 different snacks in here so we're just gonna go through taste test them and rate them one through ten before we get started next week i have no plans for a video um so i'll have to figure something out i've been busy with work i'm really just trying to balance this youtube shit this type of stuff is definitely a great video because it's kind of easy for me to sit down and we just do it a long time ago i did a taste test on water and i think i tried 15 different waters and just like ranked them it was really fun kind of random but today we're gonna do japanese snacks and i love 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 japanese snacks so let's open this up see what we got inside boom bunch of yummy stuff um i've tried a couple of these before like just randomly throughout my life only thing i'm not gonna try is the drink mm, just because i think it would be way better cold so i'm gonna put this in the fridge and try to sometime later but without further ado i'm just gonna reach back here grab a snack and then we'll try it okay okay so up first is this strawberry fish looks yummy there is very little english on the packaging so I'm not exactly sure what it is, but pop it open and we'll try it. So we're gonna try these like one or two bites and then rate them one through 10. So little fish, strawberry flavored, let's try it. Hmm, pretty good. Tastes like a wafer, like a strawberry wafer. Very light, very airy. It almost tastes like you're eating nothing with like a little bit of flavor of strawberry. I'm gonna give this like a 6.5 out of 10. I think if it was chocolate, it would be so freaking good. But not bad at all. Okay, snack number two. This is... Um, I have no idea what this is. It just says wheat cracker. A wheat cracker. If you guys know what these are, leave it down in the comments. I would love to know and find out. It smells like nothing really. Mm. One more for good measure. I don't really know what to compare it to. Kind of just like a salty, plain cracker. Mm. I'm gonna give these a like three out of 10. Not that great, nothing special. Like you could eat them, but not the best. Also guys, this is, I love Japanese snacks, by the way. There's a handful that I just didn't buy that I might buy next time and review my favorite, just to tell you guys about them. But they're so fucking good. Okay, this looks like this looks like a gummy, like a candy of some sort. It just says gummy cider. So there's apple juice in it. So we'll try this. Cute packaging, by the way. I love how the Japanese packaging is. So colorful and fun. Oh, it's like one of those, um, like things you, the slap things. Wait, this is like gummy. Should I try this for last? It's going to get sticky. Nah, fuck it. We'll try it. So you have to open it through this like little corner piece here. Oh, it smells sweet. It smells so sweet. We're just gonna try this little star piece on the side. Are you guys sure I can eat this? I feel so. You guys can see how how sticky this looks. Here goes nothing. Mm. Hmm. Kind of tastes like a um like a little bit of apple. There's a little apple flavor in there, like apple juice. And then like a a like not great gummy bear. 
the gummy bear texture. That's what it is. It's like a gummy bear texture, but a little softer. Five out of 10. It's cool. Not, I wouldn't buy it. The packaging's cute though. The packaging's really cool, but most of the packaging is. Five out of 10 for the slap five or whatever it is, candy. Okay, up next we have, ooh, this looks like a like chocolate and vanilla cookie of some sort. It says on the back, wheat cracker. I don't know, it must just say that, but it looks yummy. Looks really good actually. Mmm. Mm-hmm. And it's filled with chocolate on the inside. Yeah, this is my type of this is my type. Yep. I wish. Mm. I take it back. It's like the perfect amount of sweet. Wow. So far, that's like an 8.5 out of 10. Yeah. These right here. These are where it's at. I need water. I hope I don't get too full of like eating snacks. Mini country ma'am. Country ma'am cookies. I think they're cookies. Country ma'am Japan. Vanilla, oh, it's like a vanilla wafer with chocolate. These, this, this is gonna, this is what I fucking love. I love a good cracker with chocolate inside. Vanilla wafer vibes. Hmm. I was not expecting them to be soft, but Um, I don't know how I feel very heavy and like some sort of like almond extract or something like that. They're good. Six out of 10. I thought they're going to be better. be better. I thought there was going to be like a crunch with like soft chocolate on the inside. That's really what I was hoping for. But six out of 10 on the little chocolate wafers. Up next, we have a pink salt flavor potato chip. Cool packaging. Screaming bear or whatever this is Ingredients on the back most of it's in English. These ones are made in Taiwan, but it looks like they are distributed by some place in Oakland Just rip the corner I think this is just a potato chip what it looks like okay this is a really 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 good potato chip okay this is what it tastes like when you have it's like a thick lays with not as much salt and like some sort of little bit of flavor to it. There's like, like it's salty, but not too salty. These are good. These are bomb. I bet they have other flavors of these that are like, like a barbecue or sour cream onion or something like that. Cause this is just the plain salt, but eight out of 10, eight out of 10 for sure. I would buy these. Just a munch on them. Mm. They're addicting too. These are bomb. Okay, so there's these candies in here that are pineapple flavored. I'm like slightly allergic to pineapple. I won't die or anything, but it makes my mouth all like tingly and not. So I'm not going to eat these because I'm afraid that if I eat one, the rest of the snacks aren't going to taste the same and my mouth is going to be altered in some way. So I'm skipping the pineapple. It's like a gummy. 
gummy candy. Okay, so this is a melon Pandoro. Some sort of melon flavor cracker. Looks like it'll be sweet. Melon flavor stuff always trips me out when it's not like a candy. Ugh, I don't like the way this one smells. It smells so artificial. Ugh, I'm, <laughs> be honest, I'm not looking forward to this one. If I can fucking open it. <sighs> it smells like soap. That's what it, that's what it smells like. Oh, it makes me nauseous, actually. This is what it looks like. But for the, for the content, I'll try it. It tastes like, um, tastes how it smells, like soap. <coughs> it's actually soap. <coughs> Yeah, no. Fuck that. Fuck that. Zero. Zero out of ten. Zero. I, I don't know who's buying those, but <coughs> it literally was like, it tastes like soap. Like how exactly how it smelled. Yeah, no bueno. Oh, that made me nauseous. Hopefully this next one of these next ones are, they look way better, just saying. Let's do a chewy candy. Oh, there's two candies. So there's, these look like grape flavor, like little twists or little rings, like green candies. And then there's, same brand as those potato chips, Ramun. Oh, it's the little sodas. Those little Japanese sodas with the glass ball. It's, oh, we're trying one of these first. So much trash around here, I gotta clean it up from these candies. Oh, interesting. It's just a ball. No. no. It's like a, <coughs> it's like a bad marshmallow flavor, like one of those sodas. One out of ten. Do not recommend. One out of ten. Hopefully these are better. These little candies. But they smell like grape. So if they're too heavily grape flavored, they might not be good. A little gummy ring. Okay. Mm. It's fine. I'm not a huge fan of grape flavored things in general, but it's okay. It just tastes like grape juice in a gummy. Mm. Four out of ten. It's fine. Bonus points for the packaging. I like the color. It's cool. Yeah, four out of ten. It just tastes like a gummy, but like it literally just tastes like grape juice. Nothing special. All right, boys and girls, I have three left. We have, I think we're gonna do these next, these cheese. Arare, arare, arare? I don't know how to pronounce it. Arare, are, 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 are. Ar, are. I'll try these. Seems like it'll be like, Just looks like a cheese cracker of some sort. No, I think it is. Oh. Mm. It tastes like nothing. Reminds me, the texture reminds me of a pork rind, but softer. And it doesn't really taste like cheese. Barely, barely. Mm, these are kind of mid. Four out of 10. Yeah. 
Seems like some shit you just put in like your kids' lunch when they, when they go to school. Hmm. Four out of ten. Fine. Nothing crazy. Alright. I'm gonna try these right now because I know I like these. Shout out to my coworker Neil. Um he brings stuff like like little a Asian snacks, Chinese snacks, Korean snacks. He goes to H Mart and buys them. He's from China, so he I think he's familiar with the Asian snacks, but he's bought in something similar to these. And it's like a rice cake, if I remember correctly. It's like a rice cake with like just a little bit of sweetness on top. And if they're the same ones, if they're the same ones that I like, then yeah, I think they are. Like crispy on the bottom and then there's like a little sweetness on top. Little stale, but bomb. So the white on top is sweet and then underneath is like salty. They're stale though. Cause these are like an eight, eight out of 10, but this one specifically four out of 10, just because they're stale. We'll try one more bite. Damn, cause these are really bomb when they're not stale. Yeah, four out of 10. They're so good when they're not stale, but I don't know why it's just nothing else was stale. I hope I don't like start to feel like shit after mixing all these snacks together. Okay, last but not least, um, a, a pretzel of some sort. And it says sugar, brown sugar, flour, honey, some other stuff. So I think they're like a sweet pretzel. I don't know how to open them. Oh, right here. Yeah, they smell sweet. They smell like brown sugar. That's exactly what they smell like. Okay, not bad. It's like a pretzel, but not quite. Pretzels are crunchier. This, these kind of dissolve in your mouth, but very sweet. Almost too sweet, and they taste like like real brown sugar. So it's almost overpowering, but they're very interesting. These would be good like mixed in like a trail mix with like other shit. I don't know if you just eat a bunch of these by themselves. I'm gonna go seven out of ten. Eh, maybe even 6.5. They're good, but I wouldn't eat them by themselves. They're just really sweet. Okay, I started cleaning up and I totally f missed one of the candies. Um, I don't know what this is. It's broken on this side. Um, it looks like more grape. It seems really chewy. It literally says long chew. I feel like it's gonna taste like a Laffy Taffy. Exactly what it tastes like. Very chewy. Mm. Pretty good though. I feel like, once again, I'm not a huge grape guy. If this was like <coughs> green apple or like a sour flavor, cherry, blue raspberry. We're talking money, but it literally just tastes like a Laffy Taffy. It's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. Seven out of 10, it's good. I wish it was a different flavor. Japanese must like the grape, grape flavors. These are so good. It's like a regular ass potato chip done, dare I say, perfectly. Very, very good. So in conclusion, I think that little vanilla chocolate with the chocolate on the inside cracker was my favorite. Um, or those just potato chips. I want to do another one of these with like just candy. And then I want to do another one with more snacks. And maybe from like other countries as well. Final thoughts though. Eh, like 50% of them were okay. I could eat 50% of them. That melon shit, I am still kind of like queasy over. That shit was not good at all. Just taste, smelled like soap, tasted, I called it from the beginning. I, I knew it was gonna taste like super, super artificial, just 
not good. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We're killing it. We're over 60 subs. We're staying strong once a week, every Saturday, 10 a.m. Don't miss it. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, step cousins, um, your teachers, your local law enforcement. Tell them about the channel. Okay, we're not going anywhere. We're staying strong. And I think we got something good on our hands. If you guys have any other suggestions for snacks that I should try from Japan or any other country, leave them down in the comments so that I can source them, find them, and try them. But that's it for this week. I love you guys. Stay blessed, stay beautiful, and we'll see you next week.